Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this little hat for a newborn baby. This crochet baby hat is a quick and simple project for you to make. If you're a beginner, you'll definitely be able to work it up. This crochet baby bonnet is part of a set that includes a romper, baby booties and a little bunny teething toy. All these items come with free written patterns on my blog. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. If you would like to make the rose and the little leaf, I have a separate video tutorial for that. I'll put the link to it in the description box below. For today's tutorial, I'll be using a light category three double knit yarn and a size G, which is a four millimeter crochet hook. To begin, make a magic circle and chain two. One and two. You're then going to work nine double crochet into the magic circle. So one, two, and nine. And the chain two at the beginning counts as a double crochet. So you'll have the chain two and then nine double crochet. To join, you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. And then pull the tail to close. For round two, chain two, and this counts as your first double crochet, and then into the same stitch, so right in here, you're going to make one more double crochet. You're then going to make two double crochet into the next stitch. And for the remainder of this round, you're going to work two double crochet into each stitch all the way around to the end. I've come to the end of round two and I've worked my last two double crochet into the last stitch and to join the round I'm going to come over to the chain two and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two to join the round. And at the end of round two, you should have 20 stitches. For round three, you're going to chain two and then work one double crochet into the same stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. We're then going to work on the repeat. So to begin the repeat, work two double crochet into the next stitch. So there's one and then back into the same stitch, another double crochet. Then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. And this is going to be the repeat. So it's two double crochet into the next stitch, 
and then one double crochet into the following stitch. I'll do it one more time. Two double crochet into the next stitch. So there's one and then two. And then one double crochet into the following stitch. So repeat this sequence all the way around round three. I've come to the end of round three and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two to join the round. At the end of round three, you should have 30 stitches in total. For round four, chain two, and work one double crochet into the same stitch. We're then going to work one double crochet in the next two stitches. So into the next stitch, work one double crochet. And then into the next stitch, another double crochet. We're now going to work on the repeat. So to begin, work two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, and then another one into the same stitch. We're then going to work one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. And this is going to be the repeat. So it's two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. I'll do it one more time. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, and then one double crochet into the next two stitches. So one, and then one in here. And you're going to repeat this sequence all the way around for round four. I've come to the end of round four and again I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two to join. And at the end of round four you should have 40 stitches. And at this point, your circle should measure three and a half inches in diameter. We're now going to work the bonnet in rows. So we'll be turning at the end of each row. So for row one, we're going to chain two. And the chain two does not count as your first double crochet. Into the same stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. And then you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 37 stitches. So work one double crochet in the next 37 stitches and I'll meet you once I've completed this row. I've just finished working row one and you should have a total of 38 stitches all the way around. Remember, don't include the chain two at the beginning when you're counting the number of stitches that you have. For rows two to eight, you're simply going to repeat row one. So you'll begin by chaining two turning your work, making one double crochet into the same stitch 
and then you'll work one double crochet in each of the next 37 stitches. I've just finished working my eight rows and this is what your little bonnet should be looking like at this point. We're now going to move on and work the last row, which is the ruffled edging. So to begin the last row, which has the ruffled edging, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and then into the same stitch, you're going to work a treble crochet. We're then going to work on the repeat, which is three trebles in the next stitch. So there's one treble crochet. Two. And three. And you're going to work three treble crochet into each stitch all the way along to the end of the row. I've just worked three treble crochet into each stitch and I've got one stitch remaining. So into this last stitch I'm going to work two treble crochet. And that's the end of row eight. Cut your yarn and fasten off. And weave your end in. We're now going to work on the ties and the neck opening of the bonnet. So flip your little bonnet around so that the opening is up here. And then you're going to attach your yarn in the corner here. So you're going to come down here to the end of the last row that we just worked and attach your yarn with a slip stitch. We're then going to chain 42. I've made my chain of 42 and starting in the second chain from the hook, one, two, I'm going to make one slip stitch. And then I'm going to place one slip stitch into each chain all the way down to the bottom. I've made my slip stitches into each chain and I've come down to the end of the chain and in here where we attach the yarn I'm going to work one single crochet and then all the way along the neck edge here I'm going to work single crochet stitches evenly along. So I normally put two single crochet at the end of each row of double crochet. So continue all the way along the neck edge, evenly putting single crochet stitches and I'll meet you at the other side so that we can work on the second tie. I've just finished making my single crochet stitches all the way along the neck edge and 
I've come to the last row that we worked, row eight, and I've just worked one single crochet in here for the moment. You're then going to work the second tie in exactly the same way as the first tie. So you'll make a chain of 42. I've made my chain of 42 and starting in the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make one slip stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch into each chain all the way down to the bottom. So exactly the same as we did for the first tie. I've just come down to the bottom of the second tie and to finish off I'm going to slip stitch into this, the row here. And then you can cut your yarn, fasten off and weave in your end. And here's the bonnet that I've just completed. As you can see, I've attached a rose and a couple of leaves. There's a tutorial for the, the rose and leaf on my channel. And this is the matching romper. Again, there's a tutorial for this on my channel as well. And the free written pattern is on my blog. Stay tuned because I will be uploading a video tutorial for Bella the bunny and the matching baby booties as well. I really hoped that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.